Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Titus Andronicus, Shakespeare's glorious play. And we are, we get to hear from Titus today in Act 4, Scene 3, where he started out this scene. He, Titus, Marcus thinks that Titus has kind of gone off the deep end in this scene. And he probably has a right to, I mean, 20 three of his 26 children that we know of have died at this point and one of those children has been banished Lucius and one of them was raped and mutilated Lavinia so he's he's maybe not doing so well mentally at this point and he started out this scene bringing all of these people together with bows and arrows and he had written letters around these bows to give to the men with the arrows. And Marcus and his son Publius were talking about sort of how weird and how wrong it was that Titus was doing this. But then Titus says to, says to them, he doth me wrong to feed me with delays. I'll dive into the burning lake below and pull her out of Archeon by the heels. Marcus, we are but shrubs. No cedars, we, no big-boned men framed of cyclops size, but metal, Marcus, steel to the very back, yet wrung with wrongs more than our back can bear. And Sith, there's no justice in earth nor hell. We will solicit heaven and move the gods. We will solicit heaven and move the gods to send down justice for to wreak our wrongs. Come to this gear. You are a good archer, Marcus. Ad Joven, that's for you. Here, ad Apollonium, ad Martem, that's for myself. Here, boy, to Pallas, here, to Mercury, to Saturnine, to Caius, not to Saturnine. You were as good to shoot against the wind. To it, boy, Marcus, loose when I bid. Of my word, I have written to effect. There's not a god left unsolicited. So this is sort of a, a continuation of what had gone before. They were trying to placate him and saying that Pluto was like bending to his whims and giving into his wills. And he's like, no, that's that's not quite good enough. Like we we are not men who are blown over very easily. We are men of steel and therefore we need to ask the gods of steel and of life and of war. And he sends all of these various peoples around him to shoot arrows at the gods. So basically just like shooting arrows up into the air to ask all of them for help in his situation. And Marcus being the sort of, being Marcus is like everybody just shoot these arrows into Saturnius's yard and then maybe he'll find them and sort of deal with some of this stuff. So they all do, but, and Titus doesn't really notice. He's like, yay, that's great. You all shot your arrows. And then um, a clown shows up. And that's kind of, that's kind of the end of the scene. Like this scene isn't very, it's, it's Titus kind of being crazy and Marcus and Lucius sort of, young Lucius anyway, sort of feeding into him and the clown sort of goading him along in what he's doing. And, you know, we felt a couple of scenes ago that, that Titus might have had a plan, like when he sent the weapons to Caius and Demetrius, or, Chiron and Demetrius. We felt like he might have had a plan and was going somewhere with all this stuff that he was doing, but now he's putting letters on arrows and sending them to the gods and asking them for help. And everybody around him 
kind of understands that he is maybe crazy now. And that's the end of Act 4, Scene 3. So come on back tomorrow for Act 4, Scene 4, and we'll see, is this actually the craziness of Titus Andronicus, or is, is this a show that he's putting on for other people's effect? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for more. Mm.